There's a, uh, a bridge that's going to be repaired. $45 million, Army Corps of Engineers. This is the uh, St. George's Bridge located in Delaware. It's needed repairs for some time, and now they're, they're going forward on it. So here's a, some video imagery of it. And I'll pause and mention a few things. Let's look at the supports here. See, it's a little rocker there. There's two sides of the structure the here here the jointed at a seam you can see the two sides this side and that side cutting to the chase is that there's water damage coming across this tie beam the loads are carried by the outside columns this is a tie beam keeps the gives it rigidity stability at the upper end of this uh, canter levered beam if you imagine it's uh, angle uh, uh, standing uh, like this horizontally so this gives you support in that direction. Helps with some torque and torsion also as the bridge gets vibrated by heavy traffic. These often can lock up. These guys can rust and lock up. Um, I'm not saying these are rusted locked up. I didn't, I didn't really good dive deep in them. I was looking at the repair sections that they were calling out and if they were addressing the paint damage here. I did not see it written, written on there. Let, let us look at it now. So let's take a little peek over there. And as we're peeking, you can see how it's drawn out the, the repair size one by one, one foot by one foot. Pretty easy to understand there. As you look down here, you see again, this is the water damage from a section. Water damage from the midsection. So this bridge appears to have a water that comes to the midsection, not crowned left and right where the drains are, but appears to have drainage coming down the middle. And this is causing the um, efflorescence and swelling of the rebar by penetration through the concrete. Looking right here, we'll get closer to it as we come up. This will also look, remind you of the deck in the Royal Towers, uh, part of the swelling and issues. Like right here, for example, jumping right into it. Let's pause. That's that um, connection I told you that allows a bridge to flex, to move, if you will. This looks like a repair, right? At one time, this was a repair. You can see the different colorations. You can see this bald concrete that presents it look like it's impressed in, but in reality, it's concrete that's flaked off, if you will. You can see the mapping showing right back through the repair. So they didn't go deep enough. They didn't do it secure enough to stop this mapping. And over here, we have a significant looking shear fracture coming down. Like it's overloading and shear fracturing on this outside of this column. Internally, this tie beam is able to resist the pressure of the outward force. Um, and that would be, imagine this sitting in, in some sand and you're pushing this down. It pushes out this way and that way. Well, over here, the loads are, hey, they get to be taken up in part of this tie beam, the pressure, if you will. Over here, it's stirrups, total stirrups only and not this counter, counter uh, pressure, if you will. And over here, there is no counter pressure. There's just stirrups wrapping it. So it looks like we have some strain here that's able to fracture or stress these stirrups out. I don't see water damage there. Uh, you know, a lot of efflorescence. And it's continuous. Uh, continuous. It's, uh, it ha it's, it's, freak it's on each one of these um, continuing in the same issue. So when they rebuild this, will they address this that's doomed? To happen again. Do meaning it will happen again. You see it also coming this way at the top surface of this where it's not backed by this tie beam. The intention of tie beam I already mentioned. So it's it's you know it's uh it's going to happen again. So they're putting forty five million dollars into this and unless they resolve this load this load transfer of this load into the top of this uh, column then support then this will happen again. All right, what can be causing it? Well, the does, bridge does vibrate and shake a lot, and, and, and it's anchored at these points here, at where the anchors are. The anchors then transfer however deep their anchor's loading is into the concrete, and that pressure and rocking back and forth happens here, if not shearing the, and so you would take apart this bolt, you look at it and see how much of a shear, how much uh, deterioration took place, the, to prove or disprove what I'm stating to you. 
if it is not the bolt then it's simply the load on top of here there's uh, probably another plate below this and that's rocking also this whole sh cap is coming off right here and then this is already lost plane this is forward of us this this is uh, where the column is, is supposed to be this is where it's now this outer part so we got some rotation going on there to rotate this concrete there's some you know if you could take this apart you'd see the stirrups have been torqued twisted it looks like they've been doing some steel work here about painting at one time there was a, some lead removal done on this bridge back in the day 2000 something like that again there's spalling you're looking at the sizing and it looks like somebody's put their foot in it right but in reality it's flaked off we stop here you start seeing again you're seeing a straight line now this is not stress from overloading because there's no load on top of there it would be compressor strength or tension on this beam compression this side to that side or pulling away that's not indicated here and it's really not indicated here this is more the surface concrete um, over these many years swelling um, because of reaction of rebar itself and concrete together this the marriage alone wants to fail and here's some down here but as you come over you see again looks like that so sort of like the royal towers where you see all that mapping coming through all right so you can see that this is not deflected it's this whole beam it's not taking a load like that and this is just again the mapping from the concrete from the concrete and rebar reactions this is where they're calling a repair out and this is a two by two repair somewhere yeah. I don't know where this is two by two this is six by four so you tell me there's a one by one there's a two by two and of course that can go much larger they're just saying it's two by two at one point it looks like they did attempt to stop to deal with water with this um, I'm gonna say silly band of paint instead of painting the entire structure to protect it from water the exterior water not the reactions that would still happen internally uh, with the concrete itself that they did this silly cap and called it a day that's financials up here again I, I don't know if this is locked or not if it's moving properly it's very lightly loaded structure at this point here's again here's your cap coming across that way and we'll find more coming down and patterning this way so we're getting consistent we don't see the separation here so it's not going north and south now it's locked in with the bridge all right so the bridge is indirectly acting as a tie also uh, directly acting as a tie sorry about the indirect this is acting as a tie also and stabilization like shear stabilization from it just falling over and just showing the lights balling and they're going to do a 1.5 foot by 2 foot section here all right and they're right at the bottom of where the reinforcement would be so you tell me how that's going to work out where instead of taking it all the way down they're going to come right about where the bottom of the reinforcements probably located and that's the cover so they're going to create issues without totally encapsulating this with uh say a, a urethane a urethane a uh breathable a breathable paint now there's a fracture again a fracture again <clears throat> excuse me so you can see the old steel the rusting that took place and how it spalls it off it spalls it off in a cone or 45 degree shape as you can see what's next to come off oh wait a minute this concrete doesn't look like this concrete oh oh so this was a repair somebody paid for it one time and below and covering over and tapering off to this area here they covered over what appears to be rusted steel or or you're ironically of all things of uh, that they've they cleaned this steel off and now this steel is um, looking so great or it's just right on the outside of their last measurement it might have been over here but they tapered off over here with the concrete so this was exposed they saw this and they didn't cover it so the craftsmanship you can see that this oh, this new repair goes right down to where this was exposed 
and over to here in fact it's, it goes over and this is what you're getting some capping of uh, some rusted rebar without treating it correctly devil's advocate that they just happened to stop right here this was covered with this concrete here they didn't see this bald concrete uh, this rebar that was damaged and they covered over it um, I would need to see this a lot closer but I'm already looking like it's tapered right down to it so I'd find that pretty difficult not to see at that point to, to expose it so it looks like somebody did some uh, some some covering of some existing uh, some damaged rebar presents that way and then it could not it could be the I could just be coincidental to that close that's what the texture looks like there's a chamfer um, there's some exposed rebar um, it's, ra it's racing across stopping here you see again there's that midsection this is where the water would come through same thing everything is a duplication one after another because of the water issues right here here and over here see the fracture again same thing duplicating one section after another there's your, your 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 drains there's your two sections of bridge sections meeting to get meeting on this column this looks tight here and at the other set intersection the joint and then we got this water coming down and we have efflorescence starting to turn white so it's continuous salts and over here also as you look there it looks like they did do the painting there but at the top there there's an issue now this is five foot by 1.5 feet that's cutting it tight how do they handle that all right that looks weird measurements doesn't it clearly this is where the rebar at the bottom is located and it's the cover it seems to come off but 1.5 feet so that looks like a cost overrun meaning they get to charge more once they expose it they get to say let's uh you can see that we expose that and you owe us money. There it is all the way down all these sections. As you look up, right there, there's the rusted deck. This is where the intent of the water was to run off left and right at the downspouts, but clearly the water is pooling at this place here, making this a gutter, a downspout area. A gutter, this surface wall will be the downspout. Going across this steel, swelling it up over the years of salt water, this bridge gets treated with salt, landing down here, and then you're causing your problems. But this is a clear point of a low point, becomes a downspout. And again, that's not the intent of the structure to be a downspout here. Why is this, why is the water pooling there on each one of these? Well, clearly they, they this bridge has some deflection and this steel that's directing it that way or it was built that way or the covering layer of uh, concrete and asphalt over the years they pitched it towards the damn middle of that, that part of the structure by, mis by repeated mistake right there now you can see this one doesn't have a tie Let's see if I go back down I'm just looking up at the underside of it. That's the water that goes around. Rust of steel. You can see the layer of the stirrups right there. The depth of it. So that's your stirrups of this uh, beam. And straight above is the swelling of the steel. And from the water. And there's the gutter, I'll call it. This is added um, to strengthen the bottom, like a tension piece. to uh, So it can take more load and tension. But there looks like it's failing in a few points. Looks like some, I can't quite tell. I didn't get back up there with a close enough look. But looks like some misses, some bolts have fallen off. Failed 100%. And we look down to the right, left rather. And that's again the condition of the steel. Over time, the uh, steel and the concrete just don't, it just doesn't work out. That's just marriage is doomed to fail. But now they're going to put 45 million into it to try to save this marriage. But the, you know, the man part of the steel, I call it, the structure rather, the steel, and the woman's the concrete. The man part is, is bailed. This, this is a failed system. Okay. 
Again, there's no tie on this one. You see this one? There's, there's no tie going across and we see a, a failure that bursting over here. See the painted cap? So when you look back, at, back in time, you know when this was painted. You see that this is missing paint and you can determine that between the X time and the time and now, this was this failed. So it's got some lateral movement perhaps. Again, no, no tie there. This band then takes the tie there. But these uh, distribute the load down so it's just uh, less of a span by putting it roughly mid-span. As we slip out here, we look, we see all the rust on the outside of the structure, all of this acting as water flow from railings, etc., and this acting, all of it, acting as a gutter. They are the two separate bridge decks. Uh, let's call this a bridge deck here and a bridge deck here. Again, you see more some more steel at the bottom, tying them together, making, making the two, this uh, gusset web system act as one gusset web. Hmm. And so you see there's a cantilever part of this bridge. This is not, this is for pedestrians or bicyclists. Noteworthy, some of them are extra braced, every other one. And like this one, and then every other one is braced. These are not braced, and in fact they tie it um, at the, it's got a cutout. Not everywhere, like right there. All right, let me just adjust real quick. Okay, again, looking at the efflorescence, there's some paint there. But we're back to the column again, that column behavior and the connection with the supports. There's that fracture coming all the way down like that. This fracture is not coincidental. It's not water in it. I mean, now it might be water, but this is based off of this load. And then we have this fracture crossed here. It's probably based off of this anchors they use, the, 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 uh, the uh, anchors themselves swelling up and creating this new shear plane. Um, it's like doing a wedge in a stone, how you break wedges in a, in a stone, how you break stone, you put a, drill a hole, put a wedge in there, drive something between the wedge, it separates and blows and breaks apart the stone. These are the same thing, the concrete, this, the, these are built in internal wedges, the steel is. In this case, this is an external wedge, if you will, rots, swells, and expands, and causes this failure, this fracture line. There was another one here and here it would have continued over fully these are no exceptions the anchor balls all right so they're calling for a three foot by i don't know what that is oh 1.5 feet that's a point decimal so they're just going to piece this together instead of just saying replace the head scab it piece it together this is uh you know not, not, not the right idea. It's more troublesome than, than not. All right, again, here's your tie. So you see these. You don't, don't think of it as deflection. It's not loading. It's not loading on top of there. It does load back here, but not on these. Again, you can see the duplication. Here's a repair. How it lasted, it shows you that it doesn't last. This has failed already. And let's take a look at it. We'll go about another three minutes into the video, not the full video, and and I'm just discussing it with you. Again, there's two sections of bridges together, and it's got a little gutter system up there. This has got a lot of water that's now eroded the uh, the concrete, smoothed it over over time. The salt water. Remember, this bridge gets iced, uh, salted, and we can see a little bit of that steel at the top for a moment. This again is your efflorescence. This is that paint job. That's probably pigeon poo. 
and some other things. But it looks looks pretty good. Looking at this fracture real look good there. It's not opening, it's tight. Looking at whatever that might be. And there's your swelling again. And there's your again your your beam is rusted out here. It's starting to, um, these plates that tie in down here. This one looks like it's rusted out. This becomes a gutter, and it's not good. A downspout and gutter. And then it's all the way down, as you can see a moment ago. All the way down. But only at the end. So, so you see, you don't see it here. You see it right where it happens to line up with the, with the uh, tie beams. And these are intent also I believe of a, it's like a shear brace to stop it from just falling over into the like that shed <clears throat> now we're back to this column again and there we go and there's a repair there's a repair again um, right here and it if that's the repair it looks like junk doesn't it it's not really jacketing not really the top-notch job I can say that much now here again duplication there's that steel it's been some of the some of its um, cut away like that and some of it's like this this is a bridge decking the B decking this is what I proposed for that Royal Towers it would be the same thing supported out there and like this I did think about bracing back to the wall it's just not worth it uh, the loads are too great it might cause a rotation into the structure it wasn't designed for to take that, that that torque rotation that we're pushing in as you can see here this fractures all the way down this is now this is just flaking off and this is fracturing down and this was a repair at one point probably down to there um, we have some look down the side of here just looking down the side, got your efflorescence. Here's your downspout. Looking back to here, you can see the again the correct quality of the repair. And did it work? Did it work as intended? Well, you still got this fracture, and they never closed it up with paint, seeker flex, or anything. They just put it over, and that was it. It's clearly. Um, swelled and fractured and duplicated itself just duplicated itself so why put the money into these repairs like this if the repair will just duplicate itself it's not resolving the problem there's the um, extra there's the plate one plate there in your secondary plate it looks like right here hmm. Okay, I'm just trying to get a better shot of it to confirm it's a plate or steel. It looks like um, great. It looks like uh, concrete. So here's your plate, yeah, plate and plate. See, plate, plate, and your concrete capping is now missing. This might be where your stirrup goes. So there's your lower plate. There is the roller system. I said they lock up. Can't tell how this one's doing. I didn't bother looking at it. This different exposure, so I can determine what I was looking at. Then I could see that it was concrete. Okay. So I'm losing some video frame, so give it a second. There we go. Let me see if that does it. So here we have, um, again, acting like a gutter everywhere. And here's a gutter here, I, I, uh, you know, that comes right down. I've seen this duplicated on this structure in a few places now. The outside, here, and here's a downspout. The intended gutter is here. So are we looking at clogged gutters? Back here again, you've got mid-span support. 
but here it's they're just doing the structure that way again the gutter issue here's a three by two repair just to give you guys a general idea what you're looking at if you're going to look if you see stuff like this you can see that water saturation the salts and all how it textured it and video frames thank you yeah, it's a good shot There's a good shot of the roller, uh, the, root, the the pins that allow the rock back and forth at your control joint. So hopefully you can enjoy that. That's about the size of it. Um, Going to end the video. So here's obviously all of this is your water issue from here over to here. A lot of salts. And take care, guys. Love you. And how do I end this video? Here we go. Take care. Bye.